Bad Plays Games. Hello, Pioneers. I hope you're well. My name is Bed, and this is another episode of the Satisfactory Design Solutions Show, the show where we try to get better at building factories in Satisfactory by learning more about the game, stealing things from real life and building them here, or just learning to play with blueprints a little bit better. Today's episode is the first episode in a sub-series under the Satisfactory Design Solutions that I'm calling Basic Building Blueprints, where we're going to whip up just really quick blueprints that we're going to be able to use everywhere, all the time, in building better factories. So we're heading back into the black box to whip up a couple of blueprints that I want to share with you. And if you want any of the blueprints that I make in Satisfactory Design Solutions show, head over to my Discord, where they're all located in a little repository. The link for the Discord is in the description below, and come hang out. It's cool. You can hang out with a lot of people that like Satisfactory, and you can talk to me all day, every day. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so what are we doing? Today we are dealing with cylindrical columns. The first one just uses basic foundations. It's super simple. You probably already know about it. It makes a simple 8 meter cylindrical column. And then I'm going to show you two quick ways to get 2 meter cylinders, and you can have those in either horizontal or vertical directions. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take this outer corner extension four meters, and we're gonna place it right there all the way up to the top. There, uh, yeah, that that's literally, that's literally it. <laughs> you can now color it up. Uh, if for some reason you've never considered using these outer pieces in this way, there you go. I suspect all of you already know that, but I wanted to include it anyway because it's the easiest way to get a cylinder. Uh, it's the easiest way to get a cylindrical column in the game. The second circular column we're going to make is two meters in diameter, and we're going to use the small concrete pillars. And the functionality we're going to use has to do with when you put a small concrete pillar on the side of another small concrete pillar. Uh, watch. If I rotate my mouse wheel, you can hear that it's rotating around, but it's going in 90 degrees increments, so it doesn't look like it's actually moving, even holding control, right? Same thing on the ends of the pillars, but if you put it on the sides of the pillars and you hold control, you get free rain turning. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that feature to create a pillar, like so. We're gonna snap that down take it out, put it back, rotate it one increment, put it down, delete the top, put it back, rotate another increment, swoop it down, zoop it down, excuse me, like so, line it back up, another direction, there, just like that, we're almost done. And then last but not least, no wait, that is the last one, we just have to get rid of that one because it's sticking out. That's all there is to it. We have our cylinder. Now what I would personally do is use the color trick that I showed you in another Satisfactory Design Solutions video. Set that to six and then paint them all white. All right, that's perfect. Now you could blueprint this just as it is. It's four meters tall and you could just stack them if you want or you can take and run it all the way to the top and make another blueprint just like this. I'm actually going to make both, just to have them both in my arsenal. I think it'll be worth the time. It's kind of fun painting them like this to the side. Now let's do the exact same thing, but horizontally. But you know what, just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves, let's add a wall right here that we can zoop into so we don't run way out of the blue printer. All right, perfect. So first one, second, third. Not gonna make you watch them all, you get the idea. All right, let's finish it, turn off soup. There. All right, so now we've got a 32 meter, now we've got a 32 meter long horizontal pillar. And that's what our four meter long horizontal pillar looks like, or column, I mean, made of pillars. All right, let's see these in action. Let's take that first one that is eight meters long and yeah, check it out. I mean, it's super easy to make really tall columns. This would be awesome for like an elevated rail system. Or okay, but don't don't miss like I <laughs> like I did, which is fine because we can blueprint dismantle mode and just correct it. 
All right, and if you want to try to use the two meter ones, these would be really cool on some sort of Coliseum build or as supports in a subway. You can think of a lot of different ways to use them. And if you want to build a lot at once, use the longer one. But honestly, the shorter one's great because you can pick your length. And then we've got the horizontal one. Now let me show you a really cool use case that I've come up with for the vertical ones, or the horizontal ones, I mean. When I was designing it, I thought that this would be pretty cool. Nice and centered, right in the middle of the foundations. And now we're making really large fences. And there we have it, three simple cylindrical columns in three different ways. I know it's not revolutionary, but if you have these basic building blueprints in your arsenal, you can really whip up some fantastic builds a lot faster. And that's the whole goal with this entire show. I've set myself a rather ambitious goal to hit 10,000 subscribers, so if you're not already subscribed, please go down and hit the subscription button. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time.